Hello Pug Types, time for another Christmas song and this one uses chords that we all know and love. It uses the chord of C, it uses the chord of G, the chord of G7 and the chord of F major. Now we're also going to introduce something called an inversion here. Now there are lots of different sorts of inversions, I couldn't begin to explain them because largely I don't know. But really it's about mixing up the notes in the chord to make the chord sound that little bit different. So what we're going to do is mix up the notes in the chord of C. Now you take your basic C that we all know and love, there you go, there's your C, third finger, third fret on the bottom string, very familiar with that, and we'll slide that third finger up to the seventh fret, you see the seventh fret's help, helpfully marked that little dot, can you hear that's different, that top note, higher now, third fret, to the seventh fret, still the same chord of C, but with the notes mixed up it sounds different, and maybe you can tell that we're going to play Silent Night. So I will uh, play along, uh, give you some indications to what the chord changes are as we go, um, sing the first couple of words so you know where the words would start, and we'll go from there. So it's in 3-4 time, that means three beats in the bar, nice and steady. It's uh, a waltz, effectively, for those of you who watch Strictly Come Dancing. Um, and here we are, starts on C. Nice steady beat, four bars to start. Change to G, then G7, C again, then we'll go to F, back to C, back to F, and then C again, G, G7, C, and then invert. To C, G, C. And hopefully you can work out from that 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 is Silent Night and uh, enjoy.